Again, a lot of you don't understand that some of these conversations that drive you completely nuts are derived from seriously mentally ill people, and that's not making fun of it. Yet, we know that the reality is real. I used to tell my little brother all of the time, just because you don't see someone's hand, cr hand cramped up like this and they're not foaming at the mouth, people, that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong. Case in point. Black men got all these podcasts are centered around black women and what they are and are not doing and why black men don't want to be with them, blah, blah, blah. Listen, nobody gives a fuck. Let's talk about what really the fuck matters. Y'all are in a fucking mental health crisis. You guys are literally walking, ticking time bombs and the simplest shit is setting y'all off. Simple shit that y'all should be able to talk about. But instead, you guys are harming and going as far as unaliving people in our community over dumb shit. Y'all are not facing with what needs to be faced. You are not unpacking shit that needs to be unpacked. You are not dealing with shit that needs to be dealt with. You have a lot of mental and emotional blockages in y'all life and y'all refuse to talk about it, but y'all want to sit up and talk about some fucking coochie? Be so fucking for real right now. Y'all, y'all are really embarrassing. This Now you guys have never seen me do this. I typically just did our entire show off of her. That's what took so long getting started. Did you hear what this young lady said? Everything that she said about black men, the entire world has been saying about black women. The crime unbearable seen on this surveillance. This is real people casually walking over to another woman and shoots her at point blank range. We are stopping the video right there. This young lady just said black men have mental baggage, mental illness that they haven't under um, have never unpacked. But yet, let me show you this. Black men, I need y'all to know the difference from someone Watch hating this. on y'all and holding y'all accountable. I know y'all don't know what being held accountable really feels like because you don't allow yourself to. I'm going to tell you the most disturbing part about all of that. I just had to give you guys a glimpse of who this young lady is. Black men have tons of mental blockage and baggage that they need to unpack. Here's the most disturbing part. She wasn't even smart enough to maybe take that video down or don't even take it where her children came in there and said, asshole. These are the moments that I tell you guys, we encounter things that make our jaws drop and our eyes pop. It's not so much as what happened. This woman is very clearly has some type of an agenda against men, yet she's not smart enough to cover up. If you're going to go online and say these type of things about anyone, to be honest, you should probably be going back through your profile and removing the things that associate you with being a little bit psychotic. Right? Listen, I'm going to say this. Where she says black men are unaliving women. Even though that's terrible for black women to be encountering these type of outcomes. We also know that black women have morphed into beings that are actually putting themselves into environments where typically these type of things go on. Extreme levels of violence, right? I want to show you guys something. Warning a potential legal limbo as Mexican prosecutors seek to extradite an acquaintance of Shanquella Robinson, the North Carolina woman found dead while vacationing in Mexico. Authorities are not currently naming her, but say she is a direct aggressor against the 25 year old. Okay. After a video online, too violent to show, reveals Robinson assaulted. We don't even have to keep going. My point is. Everything that this woman got on here and accused black men of, black men aren't even accused of doing these things. Black men aren't even accused by the world of, well, we're not going to even get ahead of it. That was another black woman who's killed another black woman. And we know the list can go on and on and on. There was one of my favorite videos that I was trying to locate. Red 
Damn. Oh, that bitch grabbed a strap. Oh, God, I shot him. Oh, oh, he got ass to move. Oh, she blinded that bitch. Oh, God, she blinded that bitch. What? I'm a bully for real. This is a girl saying this. You ladies really have to be careful. Bringing these accusations of lewd behavior, I mean, just being honest, you really shouldn't bring up the subject of behavior in no public setting. How are you getting offed by gun violence? Right? What are you doing? Where are you at? I'll show you. If he don't carry a Glock, I'm not with as soon as I find out he carries a blicky with him all the time, this, the son was talking about what she'll do sexually to a man like that. He's a 10, but if he carry a blick, but he carry a blicky in case it gets sticky, the music she was talking about, as you can see, is what she'll do to a man like that who carries that burner. Her says he's a 10, but he pop pills real skinny and carry a blicky. I'll do all these things to him. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about it. If he don't keep a blicky, I ain't effing with him. You understand where we going with this, people? These are middle-aged women. Middle-aged women. I was about to say, you guys better be lucky. I can't find the other thing that I'm looking for, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Guy has a nine millimeter in his hand. She takes it and starts giving the barrel of it sloppy to where I mean sloppy. My point is this, people. This is, a, this is actually a further detriment to the black community. As powerful as the P-U-S-S-Y is, imagine a world where women are saying, if he doesn't carry a burner, you don't get any poo nanny. A trend like that could cause boys who don't even embrace that lifestyle to start embracing it, to carry one, just to get access to women.